the second death. This describes the eternal separation of sinners from God into an eternal damnation. That's a place that I pray that nobody sitting here will experience this death. Say amen. Say a better amen. I pray that no one sitting here today will experience an eternal separation from God into the eternal lake of fire. No one sitting here, no one listening to me because you will have believed in Jesus Christ. Now the Bible says here, you look at the Revelation chapter 19 verse 20, then the beast was captured and with him the false prophets who worked signs in his presence by which he deceived those who would receive the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. These two were cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone. Is that a place you want to go? You don't want to burn here. You want to go in heaven and enjoy life with God. Amen? So, the worst position here is that you don't go there to die. You go there to live and burn forever. I want you to test it. If you want to go to hell, test it today when you go home. Put your hand in the fire and see how long it can stay there. Then imagine that position forever. Is that the place you want to go? No, it's not a place you want to go. You don't want to burn in the fire. And the Bible says the fire is brimstone. <laughs> in a choma kuchoma. That's the eternal, the second death. This is what they say. The first birth everybody experiences is by our mothers. That's the first birth. The first birth every single human being experiences is by our mothers. When we are born by our mothers. Now, if you are born by your mother, then you grow up and die physically. They say you die the first and second death. The first death being physical death. The second death being eternal separation from God. So if you are born by your mother and you live your entire life and now you die physically, then you know you have died also eternally. So they say like this, born once, you die twice. You get that? If you are only born once by your mother, you die twice because you will die physically and die eternally when you are separated from God. So you have the physical death as the first death and you have the eternal death as second death. So born once, you die twice. Now they say like this, if you are born once by your mother, then you are born again by the Holy Spirit at the very moment that you believe in Christ Jesus, that he died on the cross and paid for your sins and if you believe in him, you are so assured of eternal relationship with God, you are so assured of being the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus, you are so assured of calling God your father you are born once by your mother, you are born by the second birth by the Holy Spirit how many times do you die? Once. So you die once, physical death. After that, you go into an eternal bliss with God. So they say, born once, you die. Born twice, you die. Which one is better? And die. The first birth is by your mother. The second birth is through salvation. Okay? Through salvation. So all of us here, should be born twice. You should believe what the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal savior and you are saved. We will go through it slowly, slowly, but I'm just giving you a focus because I know someone can be listening to me here and he'll never be there again. Mm -hmm.